we're all gathered here from many different branches of the healing arts. And the purpose is really for us to begin to get a sense of what this healthcare reform is actually going to mean for us. We've heard a lot of debate. Uh, we don't know whether our lives are going to be different five years from now because of health care reform. And we'd like to hear about this. And Mr. John Shedegg, who is one of Arizona's representatives to the Congress of the United States, has agreed to meet with us to help us clarify this issue. Thank you very much, Dr. Grout, and thank you all for being here. A lot of H.R. 3200 has the government defining what constitutes health care and what constitutes insurance and what a qualified health benefits plan is. And that's the Democrats' answer. The Republican answer, if you listen to the debate, uses your term, patient choice. Uh, and by that, what we mean in that debate is we should get out of the current structure where someone other than you decides about your health care. As I read what you, you, when you use the word patient choice, in the, at least in this, in this uh, paper, what you're really saying is people ought to decide where they go for care, whether it's allopathic or whether it's, and I've learned this term now, CAM, uh, com complementary or alternative medicine, that ought to be your choice, and I happen to agree with that. Uh, I think you can make the argument that 70% um, of medicine is science, 30% of medicine is art, and I want the doctor that knows the art. Because if I'm outside the norm, I want him to say, Shattig, this blood pressure medicine doesn't work for you. Lots of people say to me, well, I wrote my congressman and I wrote my two senators, so I'm done. I don't think that's accurate. Uh, I think that democracy uh, functions by numbers, and I think the, you know, if you care about this topic, the thing to do is every patient you see every day, you ought to talk to them about it. Every, you know, whoever cuts your hair or mows your lawn or uh, bags your groceries, you ought to be saying whatever you feel passionately about this topic because you get them ginned up and you get them talking about it and, and numbers matter. We want to support you in making change for patient they, choice, for freedom of choice. What can we do? To be very crass and very direct, right now in Arizona, uh, the three Republicans will vote, three House Republicans will vote against the President's proposal, uh, which will take away HSAs. Um, two of the Democrats will vote for it no matter what. And the other three Democrats are up in the air. Harry Mitchell, I, I would say it would, should be a number one priority for you to go talk to Harry Mitchell and tell him that you favor some form of patient choice that preserves and maximizes the ability of people to select the form of health care that they want to get and to, be, and to get the ability to, to buy that under fair rules that aren't biased you know, in favor of traditional medicine or in favor of traditional insurance. And I would go see Harry, because he's right on the edge. I would go see Ann Kirkpatrick. Uh, she's the congresswoman from Northern Arizona, and she's right on the edge. And then I assume there has to be a chapter like this twice as strong in Pima County and have them go see Gabby Giffords. Nothing approaching patient choice is gonna happen under this administration, at least not now, until America decides not to vote this bill through.